Since Nanaimo is a harbor city, it's inevitable that the ocean will play a major role in its identity. Being on the east coast of the island, we look out towards Canada's mainland. And this single detail allows for a variety of uses with this usually calmer water. Just a short drive away, and you can find yourself standing on the west coast of the island, staring out across the greatness of the Pacific. In the beginning of May 2013, I made the spontaneous decision to set off on an open-ended journey. This journey began in the Pacific Ocean. I don't know how, but I know that I can. I ain't got no money in the palm of my hands. I'm patient and humble, thanks to my dad. The greatest example that a boy did I had. Just a few months later, I found myself on the opposite side of Canada, getting to know the Atlantic. I didn't know it at first, but this would spark the beginning of a new kind of connection in my life my relationship with Mother Ocean. Another hundred miles, another foreign town. Finally learning how to live in the now. Nor to hide while the rain tumbles down. Just a boy on the road with no one else around. Looking at this city, with a new understanding and deep connection with Mother Ocean, I can't help but feel a flood of gratitude for what she offers us. Prayer and the sea, 20 tons of me, oh, free, free is something I believe in. Boat owners live on their sailboats and commute to land for work, school, and other necessities while those who live on land travel back and forth to Vancouver or elsewhere by water planes. Meanwhile, the rest of us, sometimes without even knowing it, soak up its glory for our daily dose of peace, joy, or tranquility. Let it all wash out in the rain Just let it all wash out in the rain Just over a year after leaving Nanaimo, I found myself in South Florida, meeting a new kind of ocean, and hopping on a sailboat for the first time. This opened up an entirely new world for me, and with it came a flood of completely new experiences. Through the Caribbean, I was finding new communities of people who were so deeply connected with Mother Ocean This got me to dive even deeper into my own relationship with her, literally. Oh, it's a mystery to me. We have agreed, with which we have agreed. You think you have to want more than you need. Until you have it all, you won't be free. Through the ocean's waterways, I found myself crossing the Panama Canal and returning to the Pacific once again. Here I learned of her might, her limitlessness, and her will. Storms and powerful seas on one extreme, and dead calms with no wind on the other. They all played a role in teaching me the many lessons that I would learn along the way.
Now that I've returned from my travels, I can reflect on all that Mother Ocean taught me during the last four years. She took me to so many different places, big and small, well-known and secluded, familiar and foreign. She pushed me to my limits more than ever before, and she opened me up to a world I never knew existed. She brought me home, a new person, full of hope and love for my brothers and sisters of the earth. Thanks to my new bond with Mother Ocean, I will forever remain a world citizen.